Hilchis Kalayim Pedik Shvi. Now we mentioned these halachas in Pedik Vav. Halacha Aleph. Habol Israel Vitzada Kerem. Marchik Mimeno Arba Amis Mim Ikri Akvanim Vizireya. So from a Kerem, you have to be distance yourself when you plant an Azera four Amis. However, Vim Gefen Yechidesi, it wasn't a Kerem, but was a singular vine, is Marchik Mimeno Shisha Tvachim Vizireya. All you have to do is be Marchik six Tvachim. Now, hoisa shura acha shul kvanim zubesadzu. You have a long line of vines. Afilo hein meya, hein zekerem. That's not called a kerem. El kegefen yechidus. It all has a din of one gefen. Marchik min ashura shisha tvachim mizireya. V'tzarich hoyu shtei shuras. If there were two rows, so then harayu kerem. That is considered a kerem. And v'tzarich laharchik amit arba amis mikol tzad. You have to distance yourself four amis from each side. In other words. From from one row and from the other row, from the, from the other row on the other side. Ba'achar kach yizra, halacha base. V'kama yeh b'chol shura. We're saying a kerem. In order for it to be called a kerem, it has to have two rows. But how much does each row have to have? V'kama yeh b'chol shura sholish kvanim yeser. So if we have two rows and each row has three vines, that's considered a kerem. And then the din is that in order to be to plant Yerek, you have to be Marchik Dalar Amis. Now, the question is, how, how close are they, are, they, are they planted together? Say, how close are the rows together? And how close are the Kfanim, are the vines, on each row? So the rule is Azay. If you, if you plant one Geffen near another Geffen, and there's less than four Amis in between, so that's not really going to last. It's not going to last, because a, a, a Geffen needs at least four Amis of Avedis Akerem. And therefore, if you're going to plant one next to the other, and there'll be less of a distance of four amas, eventually one of them will have to be destroyed. So that's one thing. Also, if you have eight amas between one geff and another geff, complete eight amas, so they're also not considered together, they're considered separated. So in order for it to be considered that you have two rows of three kfanim, so you have to have that in between the kvanim, sai on the row, and sai between the rows, there should be, first of all, a distance of four amas between each kefen, that's number one, and there shouldn't be a distance of eight amas. It should be from four amas until a little less than eight amas. That's considered a good distance. So if you have, let's say, you have three kvanim in a row, and between the three kvanim, there's a distance of, let's say, five amas between kefen one and kefen two, and alder of the five amas from Geffen 2 to Geffen 3, and then you, again you have the second row, and again you have five amas, let's say, I'm just saying five amas, it could be six amas, seven amas, between row 1 and row 2, so that's considered a kerem, because then it's considered that there's the proper distance between the kfan, mashenken, if they're too close to each other, or if they're too far from each other, that wouldn't be considered a kerem, that's just it. Now, Bamedvar Mamurim, that when we say when you have three kfan in two rows, they're considered a kerem. Bishahoya ben kol gefen vigefen me arba amis ach me namis. In between each gefen, there was from four amis until eight amis vileyad bechlal. Avalim hoya ben shtei ashurish shme namis. If there were eight amis dividing the two rows, chutz me mekem akvanim asmam. Besides the mekem akvanim, there would be two. There's two rows, and in between the two rows, there would be eight amis in between. That would be considered separated. And that's not considered one kerem. And the any marchik el is shishat fachim because shuras. So notice when you have two shuras, it's considered a kerem. In order to be considered that you have two shuras, the shuras have to be next to each other. They should be four amas apart, and not more, not eight amas apart. It should be less than eight amas apart, and not less than four amas apart. So then it's considered It's considered gefenachas. So here we're speaking about the distance between one row and the other. And al derev said the distance between one gefen and another gefen. The distance between one gefen and another gefen has to be four amos, at least four amos, and not more than eight amos. Now that's true. So if you have again, so if you have two rows, we want to clear. Are these two rows considered a kerem or not? So you have to see how much is the distance between the two rows. 
it has to be at least four amas, and it can't be it has to be less than eight amas. Now, how you show the shudas? If you have three rows of kfanim, is afal pishiyesh bineyam pachis miarba. You have between each row, let's say we'll say three amas between row one and row two, and three amas between row two and row three. Is areilu kerem? It's considered a kerem. Why? The rain is a mitzvah. kilo We say let's make let's let's pretend so to speak that the middle one is not there. We look at it as if the middle one is not there. And Mamela, we have two rows. We have the outer row, the two outer rows, which are less than eight amas from each other. And Mamela, there are two rows. The chaynam ha'yu shalosh shuris, ubein kol shura v'shura shmein amas yisav. If you have, let's say, eight, three rows, but before we spoke about that you had less than four amas in between the rows. Over here, fakert, if you have three rows, and you have eight amas in between each row, so between row one and row two, there are eight amas. And between row two and row three, there's also eight amas. Is Hareza Zireya ben Ashuris, you'll let it go and plant between the shores because you're not planting in a karam. There's no karam here. So again, in order for a karam to be a karam, it has to be two rows, and each row should have three kvanim. But those rows shouldn't be less than four amas apart, and they shouldn't be eight amas apart. If you have three rows, and then you have less than four amas in between the rows, so we look at the two outer rows, that they are the rows of the kerem, so we have a kerem. I, we have a middle row, which is l'chure, not is less than four amas. We, we disregard the middle row. Masha'enken, if we have three rows, and between the outer row and the middle row, there's eight amas. And all that is between the middle row and the other outer row, there's another eight amas. So we don't look at it as a kerem, we look at it as individual kfanim. And memela, we, you have to be marchik, like you're marchik from an individual gefen. So you, I mean, in a kerem, you're not allowed to plant. So besides the fact that you have to be marchik dalad amas outside the kerem, in a kerem you can't plant at all. So memela, if, if it would be inside the kerem, it wouldn't be shaykh as the plant. Mashenken over here, this is, there's no kerem. Memela, there's no kerem, you can be marchik from the gefen, six tvachim, and you can plant. Leficho, halacha dalad. Hanikeya is ta- karmi metchila. Someone that plants a kerem. The hirchik bin kol shura v'shura shmei namas, and between each row there's eight amas. Is muta lahavi zera b'techi. You'll have to plant seeds inside this kerem, inside this kerem, which is not doesn't have a din kerem. Umarchik bin kol shura v'shura shisha tvachim bulvadi. All he has to do is distance six tvachim. Avolim zara chutzula. But if he's going to plant outside of it. Now, the outside of it, he should also only be, have to be marchik six tvachim, because it doesn't have a din of a kerem. But the mice is, people see that there's a psakerem, there are rows, it looks like a kerem, and therefore people won't realize that this kerem, the distance is eight amas, and therefore it doesn't have a din of a kerem. So when you're planting outside of this kerem, you should have the regular distance of outside the kerem, which is four amas. That's what he's saying. Avalim zara chutzaloi, is sarach laharchik, mishurach itzayna, arba amas. That's only a din de Rabbonin, because people won't realize that it doesn't have a din of a kerem. We're going to learn by Hamshel that there's a din of a kerem that became chorev in middle. That over there you have to be, even if there's 16 amas, you have to wait for 16 amas in order to plant over here. And Lachur over here, we're planting even though there's only 8 amas in between the two rows. Because Shari Mitchila, not to Meruchakim. Since Lachatchila, you planted them that they were eight amas apart, so they never got a din of a kerem. Masha'inkin over there, Behemshev, we're going to learn about a situation where you had a din of a kerem, and then this kerem became chorev in middle. So Bemele, even though there's a larger distance of eight amas, nevertheless, you're not allowed to plant Zeroim Betechom unless there's an area of 16 amas, like we'll learn the Hemshev. It's Bikitzer. The Nukudis Advarim is that in order for a kerem to be a kerem, you have to have two rows, each row should be three kfanim, and between the rows there should be at least four amas, but not eight amas. It has to be less than eight amas. Then it's considered a kerem. Masha'enken, if there was less than four amas, or there was more, or there was eight amas, so then it's not considered, they're not considered a kerem. If there were three rows, so if they were less than four amas apart between the, the rows, so since their outer row, the two outer rows, are less than eight amas apart, so that's considered a kerem, and we disregard the middle row. Masha'enken, if they're eight amas apart between each, between each row, so in other words, between the, the outer one and the middle one, there's eight amas, and between the middle one and the other outer one, 
there's also eight amas, so it doesn't have a din of a kerem, and therefore you're allowed to plant inside this kerem, as long as it's six tfachim away from, from the geffen, mashenken outside, you shouldn't plant, except outside the four amas. So we said, mitzad marasayin, because it looks like a kerem. Halacha hei. Hoisa besodazu, shura acha you had a field, in that field you had one row of vines. And then you had a, your, your friend had another field, which belonged to him. And he also has a shura achas acheres kinegda krevolo. He has another row of vines. So if you look at those two vines, you notice together they, they're a carob. You know, it's really, you don't own both of them. He owns his and you own yours. Is afal pishemafsik b'neim derech hayochid derech harabim. Even though there's a little road, a road that people go, either or Yochid goes, or Rabin goes, or Geder Shunamuch or, or, or even if you have a little wall, but it's lower than ten Tvachim tall, is Hareyo Mitztarfen Liyashteim Kerem. Who Shiyeh Bineim Pachas Mishmein. I know as long as the distance between these two roads is less than eight Amos. So even though there's people walking in between the roads, and even though there's a little fence, but as long as that fence is not ten tefachim tall, so it's considered a kerem, and all the dinam of a kerem apply, which the dinam of a kerem is that you're not allowed to plant any zera in the kerem, obviously, and also if you want to plant outside the kerem, you have to be distance yourself four hours. Halachavov, not a shura achas ba'aretz, v'shura achas madrega. Again, in order for a kerem to be a kerem, it has to have two rows. Now, what happens if you have one row on the ground? And then you have a step. And then you make another row on the step, which is next to this row on the ground. It depends how tall the step is. If it's ten tfachim raised, it's raised ten tfachim. So that's considered like the ten tfachim high is like a mechitza, and it's a separate rishus. They're not a kerem. A kerem means that they're two, two rows together. Over here you have one row on the, on the ground, one row on the step, this step is considered a separate rishus because it's ten tefachim tall, and therefore in him and starfim. However, pachas mikan and starfim. <coughs> if it's less than ten tefachim tall, so then it is and starfim. Halacha zayin. Haniteya chomish kfan. Person planted five vines. Shtayim kineged shtayim. You have two opposite the other two. You have two rows of two. And Va'achas Yetzes on it. Who goes behind them or in front of them? But it's like a tail. In other words, it would be like there would be three, on, uh, like a segel, and under those three there would be like a tzeri. But the point is that it's shtayim connected shtayim. Va'achas Yetzes on it. So then I raise a nikra kerem cotton. That's also called a kerem cotton. That's not a regular kerem. That's called a kerem cotton. And there's different dinim between a kerem cotton and a regular kerem, like we learn by Hamshach. But since they're called a kerem, so this din that you have to be marchik arba amis lacharuach applies also to a kerem kot. Avol emnotin shtayim kineged shtayim v'achas b'emtzim. So in other words, you have two opposite two, and in the middle you have one. You have the one. So in other words, you have like four on four corners, and then in the middle you have another one. So you have five. A shalish b'shura zul three on one row. Ushtayim kinegdam b'shura shnia. And on the other row you have two, but it's not Yetzir Zonav. Yetzir Zonav would mean that the fifth is in the middle, in the middle, in the back of the two of them. Mashenkin over here, you have three on one row and two on the other row, is any Kerem. And therefore, So So the din is that if you have a Kerem, you have to be Marchik Arbamas. If it's not a Kerem, you have to be Marchik Six Tvachim. What's called a Kerem? So Pashtus a Kerem is two rows that the two rows are have the right proper distance in between them and each row has three kvan and there's also another din of a kerem cotton that if you have two rows and then there's achas yetze zonov so also there's a dinner as a din of a kerem cotton and therefore you have to be marching from them dalarams kerem shecharev you have a kerem a regular kerem and this kerem became it, it got destroyed. A lot of the a lot of the vines in the kerem got destroyed. Is in yeshbe lelaket esik fan b'lechol beisa in a base saw of the of the of the of the kerem. A base saw is chamishim ama al chamishim ama. So if you have ten kvanim in a base saw, 
and the yield and the tuis. Shtayim, connected shtayim, ba'achaz yitzizana. You could somehow or another find ten vines. And those vines should be set up in a way that it should be shtayim, connected shtayim, ba'achaz yitzizana. That's one option. Or yeshbe lechavin, sholish, connected sholish. Then you have three, connected three, which is a, a proper kerem. Is hareza nikra kerem dal. That's called a kerem dal. Va'osur lizreya bekuli. And then you're not allowed to plant in this kerem. So even though the pashtos, the, the, the vines are far from each other. So in other words, if you would look at Chila, plant the vines with this type of distances from each other, it wouldn't have had a din of a kerem because it would have been too far from each other. It could be eight amas from each other. But on the other hand, since over here it was originally a kerem, and lapel right now, it became, it, 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 the kerem got destroyed. So the question is, is it still a kerem? Does it remain a kerem? So we're saying if you have a, a ten kfanim in a beso, and those kfanim, either you could set it up in a way, in other words, they're still set up in a way that they should be shtayim keneged shtayim v'echad yetzuzonov, or they should be sholish keneged sholish, so v'chi agavn, it's called a kerem, memele has the din of a kerem, and memele you're not allowed to plant yerek v'techa. Halacha tes, kerem she'ena netua shuris shuris, elem urviv, normally they would plant the kerem in rows, but this was just planted haphazardly. Is in Yezbe Lechavin, Shtayim Keneged Sholish. In other words, you have two rows, two on one row and three on the other row. Hareze Kerem. Bein Mulav, Eini Kerem. Eladai Laharchik Shishotvachim, Bechol Gefen, Vegefen Vezireya. So in other words, the entire, even though you have a lot of Kfanim over there, but since it's not planted like a Kerem, so therefore it doesn't have a din of a Kerem. And therefore, as long as you your marchik six tefachim from a gefen, so that's beside. Now over here, there's psachidush that we're calling it a kerem when it's sholish connected shtayim. Until now, we had that it was always had to be either sholish connected sholish or shtayim connected shtayim. Ba'achaz yitzizon the musig of sholish connected shtayim we never had. And over here, since we're dealing with a kerem, which is planted a lot of a lot of trees, so vaisus over here. Even if it's Shtayim Keneged Sholish, also Kerem needs us a little beer to understand why over here Sholish Keneged Shtayim would constitute a Kerem. Even before, when we had a uh, when we had a Kerem that was Chorev, and Yeshbei Lelaket, a Sora Kfanim, in a Beiso, also over there, also the Rambam said we had to have Shtayim Keneged Shtayim, Achaz Yetzizonov. Mashenken over here, it's enough to have Sholish Keneged Shtayim. Halacha Yud. So we're saying we have to have shtayim connected sholish. So if you look at the ikrim, notice the, the vine as they are in the ground, coming out of the ground, so they're takish shtayim connected sholish. However, hanoif, was the extension of the vine, ain't a They're already not muchuvanim shtayim connected sholish. Is a raise a As long as the ikrim are muchuvanim, so that can, that's considered a kerem. For keret, hanoif muchuvan. For ikr, ain't muchuvan. So knows the way they're coming out of the ground, they're not really Shtayim Kenegat Sholish. You can't really make a row of Shtayim Kenegat Sholish. However, the knife, the way the knife is already extending from the ground, over there you can have Shtayim Kenegat Sholish, is Enekar. Hoyu Dakes Ve'ena Mukhovanis. Whereas at this point in time, they're very thin, and therefore they're Takenat Mukhovanis, because they're, 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 they're just not Mukhovanis. Now, in Hevel, and then they became thicker, Bahrein Mukhovanis. So even though originally, they didn't have a din of a kerem because they were mukhovanis because they were very thin. And you have like a thin vine coming out of here and a thin vine coming out of there. And they're not really parallel to each other. And therefore you can't really make a system of having two rows. But now that they're already thicker, so they like, they overlap each other. And therefore they could be considered three on one row and two on another row. Is that is a kerem. A ketzed hu yedeya heim mukhovanis. I'm not really sure what does it mean, Ketzer or Yideh. How does he know if it's the Mechuvanus? So the answer is maybe Chutamida or Mitech, Mizulazu. You measure from one to the other, you pull the Chutamida from one to the other, and then you take a look, I suppose, at the other Chutamida that you're pulling from the other one to the other, and then you see whether or not they're parallel lines. I'm not 100% sure because how parallel do they have to be. We're talking about, you know, two against three that have to be Bamish parallel lines. I'm, I'm not really sure what does it mean. Kate said, Who ye dea imheim mukhovanis.
Halacha Yud Aleph. Kerem Shechorev Bem Tzor. You have a Kerem, and in the middle of the Kerem became Chorev, destroyed. V'nishar Sholei Mikol Svivov. So you have a bald spot in the middle of the Kerem. And the question is, could you plant in the middle of that Kerem? Now, normally the din is that you always have to be marking four Amas from the Kerem. So if you're talking about outside the Kerem, you mark it four Amas, and then you plant. Now, if you're talking about inside the Kerem, so obviously you're going to have to be marking four Amas from where the Kerem is still there, and only start thinking about planting after that. Now, if after that is a Mokim Choshev, it could be considered a separate entity, so then it's considered separate from the Kerem, and you can plant there. Masha'inkin, if it's not a Mokim Choshev, so even though it's four Amas away from the get, from the Kvanim, but since it's not a Mokim Choshev, it becomes bottled to the Kerem, and it's considered part of the Kerem. So we say, Azay, let's say you have a Kerem, you have a Kerem on all sides. So we say four Amas, obviously, next to the Kerem from all sides, you cannot plant because there are four Amas within the Kerem. Now, what about after that? So we say, Azay, if there's four Amas, which are a separate field, so to speak, it would be considered a separate field. So the, over there, you'd be able to plant. But since we're dealing with two sides, in other words, there's a carom, let's say, side on the east and side on the west, or side on the north and side on the south. So we have to say like this. First of all, we have to give four amas to Avedis HaKerem. So those four amas, for sure, you can plant. Now, after those four amas, so again, if we have eight amas, so if we have eight Amas in between the four Amas that we gave to each side, so those eight Amas could be divided into half for this side and half for this side, so then you can plant it. Because a four Amas area is considered a Choshva area. Masha'enkin, if it's less than four Amas, so it's not considered a Choshva area, and therefore it can't be planted. So therefore, Lamashal, if you have, let's say, 12 Amas, so you'll have 12 Amas, you'll give each side four Amas, the only thing that you can be left in the middle would be four Amas, you're going to have to give two Amas to each side, and two Amas is not Choshev, and therefore you can't plant it, and it becomes bottled to the Kerem. Masha'enkin, if you have eight Amas left in the middle, so then you can give four Amas to each side, so then you could plant it. That's this din. Now that din would be Isai Lemashal. You could have a place of a, bo- a bald spot where around, from all four sides is Kerem, so then you have to have 16 by 16 in order to be able to plant there. Or you could have a situation where you have a carom, and the, then you have a bald spot that went through the entire carom. So in the Melis, you don't have to, it's not on four sides, now you only have a carom on two sides, on two sides of this bald spot. So again, if you have four Amas, obviously you have to be marking four Amas, and then there's another four Amas, that that should be a separate entity. And Aldera is on the other side, there's four Amas, and then there's four Amas for a separate entity. So those, four, those two sets of four Amas, the second four Amas, on one side, and the second set of four Amas, on the other side, can't be, could be planted. You could plant with, with your Akas. Masha'ik, and if it's less than eight Amas in between those first sets of four Amas, which means it's less than 16 Amas altogether, then you cannot plant it. Let's read again. Allah Yudalf. Kerem Shecharev Bem Tzoy. V'nishar Sholem Mikol Svivov. So you have on four sides of Kerem. Im Yesh Be'a Korach HaShibem Tzoy Shesh Esri Amas. If in that Korachas there's 16 Amas, which over here it means 16 by 16, is a reza markik mi'ikriya kfanim arba Amas l'choruach. So obviously the four Amas, which is next to the kfanim, you cannot plant any zera. And v'zireya b'emtza Korachas. Then you can plant in the middle of the Korachas. Because in the middle of the Korachas, there's enough, there's enough to be considered a field for each side. You, you can't have one field for all sides. In other words, the question is, you have a field from this side, a field from this side. Each one has its own four amas. However, if in that Karachas there's no 16 amas, is Hareza Le Yavi You shouldn't plant anything in there because it's considered that you're planting in the middle of the Karam. Because this part, even though it's already further than four amas from the Geffen, but it's still considered, it's not considered large enough to be considered a separate entity. In Havi, however, if you brought since Sof Kol Sof, it was four Amis away from the Kerem, is a reza l'kiddush. In the in the Karachas, you shouldn't plant anything unless the Karachas is 16 by 16. And then you could plant 
four amos away, and what you're planting is considered a separate entity. Mashiach came, if you did plant, even if it wasn't 16 amos, as long as it was four amos away, is fine. The king, Mokim Shemishar Ponli, Blake Vanim, Ben Seifa Kerem, and Ben Agedashli. You have a, a Kerem, and around the Kerem, there's a fence, and between the Kerem and the fence, there's, there's empty space. And Bohuan Nikra Mechela Kerem, that's considered the Mechela Kerem. Mechela Kerem is like the circle around the Kerem. Is Im Yezbe Shtei Mesriyama, if that area is, has 12 Amas, there's also Marchik Menachvanim Arba Amas, Vizirea Sashar, again the same word, because four Amas is to consider Avedis Akerem. And the four Amas which are next to the wall is considered but to the wall, and not, that's not really a place for planting. So the only place that's pl- for planting is after the four Amas away from the wall and after the four Amas away from the Kerem. So if there's four Amas still left over there, so that's considered a Mokim Choshuv. So therefore it can be considered a separate entity from the Kerem, and therefore you're allowed to plant over there. Masha'enk, if there's no four Amas, so then it becomes bottle to the Kerem. So therefore if there's 12 Amas, so there's four Amas which are bottled to the Kerem, Abedis Kerem. There are four Amas which are bottled to the wall, and the other four Amas you can plant. Masha'enk, if there's less, then you shouldn't plant any there. Again, if you did lapel plant, so Mamela, Hayyab Bay Pakas Mishte Masriyama is Layavi Zaralisham, just like the same the same as Seikho like like by the Karachas Akarim. If there's less than twelve Amas over there, you shouldn't bring any Zara. However, the Mahvi, the Pale you did bring Zara, is Hail the Hirch Karba Amas, since the Pale is four Amas away from the Karim are easily kiddish. But Medwar Mamurim, that there's such a din, that this part of the Karim, this part, even though there's no Karim there, and it's four Amas away from the Karim. Is considered bottle to the kerem. That's only if you have a kerem god, a proper kerem. Avol be cotton. If you have only a, a kerem cotton, which is shtein kineged shtein, and the achas yitzes on of only mochel the whole musik that there should be a din of the mochel a kerem is oser, because that part of the kerem is bottle to the kerem. In other words, the, the, the idea over here is that even though you're four amos away from the kerem. But unless that area is large enough to be considered a makam bifnei atzma, it's considered bottle to the kerem. In order for it to be bottle to the kerem, you have to have a proper kerem. So if you have a kerem gadol, so they can have a place which is small, should become bottle to the kerem, even though it's four amas away. Mashaikin, if you talk about a cotton, ainly machel, el markik arba amas, misay fakfanim, misirei adakeder. And you can be zirei adakeder. And also, the kerem gadol. Shahoyi bin Kol Shura with Shura, Shmeina Amasi Yeser. So again, so it doesn't have a din of a kerem. So even though it has a din of a kerem in the sense that you have to be Markik Arba Amas outside the kerem, like we learned before. Whereas in the kerem, you only have to be Markik Six Tvachim. But outside the kerem, Sad Marasayan, you have to be Markik Arba Amas. But on the other end, it's not really a kerem. If it doesn't have really a kerem, so there's no din of Machala kerem. So Mamela, the Chen Kerem Godl, Shahoyi bin Kol Shura with Shura, Shmeina Amis Yasser is Ainley Mochel. Alocha Yudalut. Hoya Hageder, Hamakibis Akerem, Pachis Miasorit Vachim. The wall which was surrounding the Kerem was less than ten Tvachim tall. Eisha Yugavi Asorit Vachim, Abeveim Be Reich of Arbot Vachim. In order for a Mechitza to be considered a Mechitza, a Mechitza has to be Govei Asorit Vachim and Reich of Dalit Vachim. If this Mechitza doesn't have a Reich of Dalit Vachim, it doesn't have a din of a Mechitza. So if it doesn't have a din of a mechitz, it's only mochel. Whereas the whole idea that this area is considered bottled to the kerem is because it's surrounded by a wall, and therefore this area is considered the area of the kerem. So unless it has enough space for itself to be considered a separate entity, it's not bottled to the kerem. But by medvar mamurim, that there's a talk of it being bottled to the kerem, if it, there's a wall, if first of all it has to be a kerem gadol, and there has to be a mechitz. Masha'en came if there was no proper mechitza, because the mechitza wasn't gavei asorat vachim or it wasn't rechiv arbot vachim, is only mochel el marchik misay vakfanim arba amis vizirei adam mechitza. Afil lahoye bein akfanim bein mechitza arba amis umachza. So from this way, the zayir is chazi amah. That chazi amah you could be zayir, because as long as you were marchik dalit amis from the kerem is fine. Aloche tezvav. Geder shugavei asorat vachim. The chen chritz 
שהוא עומק עשור לטווחים ורוכב ארבע, so that's considered a proper separation, is הרי זה מוטל ליט הכרם בצידי מכאן, וירוקס מצידי מכאן. In fact, even next to each other, you have a wall. On one side of the wall you're making a carom, on the other side of the wall you're, you're planting your ruckus. Or if you have a, 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 a chritz, and the chritz is omek hasar atvachim and rochav dal And again, on one side of the chritz you're planting gefen, and on the other side of the chritz you're planting zeroim, it's fine. I feel a mechitza shel kan, even if you have a mechitza made out of reeds, im ein bin kona lechaveri shleish atvachim, you employ lovot, between one reed and the other, there's space. But as long as the space is not three tvachim, three tvachim, so therefore there's the din of lavud, is areza muvdeles, bin a kerem, vayerek begeder, it's considered a gather between the kerem and the yerek. In the mele, you're allowed to plant a kerem on one side and a yerek on the other side. Allah tezayin, gather hamavdel bin kerem v'yerek, shenifratz ad eser amitz, areza kepesach. We're learning that if you have a wall in between the Karim and the Yerek, so even though they're next to each other, but as long as there's a wall in between, so the male let's mutter. Now what happens if that wall has an opening? So in reality, there's no real something stopping. There's no, there's no separation. But in din, this opening has a din of the wall. It's just an opening in the wall. It's a door in the wall. So that door is also part of the wall. So even though the pale, the Karim and the Yerek are next to each other, but since there's a wall in between, there's a din wall, even though the pale at this point in time, there's an opening that's also considered a wall. Now, how lo- how big of an opening could it be? Should should have a din that it's only an opening in a wall, and therefore it has a din of a wall, and it's as if it's closed. That's only until Eser Amos. Further than Eser Amos, it's already a pirtz. It's not a wall. That's this din. Gather Amavel bin Kerem Yerek Shemifrats that opened Ad Eser Amos is that is a kibesach. It's considered a door umuter. Also, even though the Kerem and the Yarek are next to each other, and there's no real Mitziyazdik wall in between, but there's a Din wall in between, because Lepel, this opening, has a Din of a door, which a door is part of the wall. However, Hoysa Prutza, yes and yes, if the Pirtz is more than Ten Amas, so then the Pirtz doesn't have a Din of a door, so it's a Din of a Pirtz, over there there's no wall. It's Kenegeda Pirtz also, Kenegeda Pirtz is also, but there's no wall. Achi Yachik, Menachvanim, Kishir. Now, Nifritzu be Protzis Rabbis, there's a lot of Pirtzis. Imhoyo emet kiparutz, if the part of the wall that's standing is as much as the part of the wall that's broken, is Areza Mutter, kill ancient Pirtzah, as if there wouldn't be a Pirtzah, because it's considered still a, a Mechitza. In the middle, the entire wall is considered a Mechitza. However, Hoyo Parutz, Meruba Lehmet, there's more broken spaces than the places that's standing. Is Lein Yizra connected to Kolam Mikemes Aprutzim? Those Mikemes Aprutzim can't be considered doors because the pale, the whole wall is Parutz Meruba Leimet. However, Achiyachi Kishir connected the Mikemes Aprutzim. You have to be Marchi Kishir. The Mikemes are aimed them as long as they're the Mechitz over there, which is Gavei Asor Tvachim, and their Rochev has to be Rochev Dal Tvachim. The Mechitz that's between the Pirtzes has to be Rochev Dal Tvachim in order to have a Din of a Mechitz. So there's a mechitza in between this side and that side. That part of the mechitza is called the mechitza. But on the other hand, since it's part of it, you can't be considered this whole mechitza into a mechitza. And the pirtza should be considered psachim. And therefore, the, the, the oimed is, is taka, an oimed, again, if it's l'chur, if it's dal, tvachim, white. And the pirtzas don't have a din of a pesach, because it's part of smurubal oimed. And therefore, kenegeda pirtza is also. Allah yudzayim. Mechitzas hakerem shenifritza. You have this mechitza between the kerem and the yerek. That mechitza opened up is emulei gedere. So they tell him you should close it up. In other words, once it was opened up, and now there's already a, a, a pirza. So mainly has to be gedere. Godra of a nifritza emulei gedere. So now as long as he's still intending, because it only becomes kiddush when it's bertzeni, when he wants it, when it was when he was masha, masha enkin. If the fact that it opened up. So even though he didn't have a chance to actually close it, that doesn't make it Kiddush. It doesn't make it Asr Bano. So, Emelie Gider. God of the Nifritza, Emelie again Gider. The Siyayish Miman of the Gidra, if he decided that he's not longer anymore going to be Gideret, so then it's Ariza Kiddush. Only if it was Shea, Kiddush, that it was uh, Messiah. It has to be, not immediately, 
the Pashtas, even the Ram doesn't say it, but the Chur, it has to be Masha, Kedei, that it's Yasem Asayim, and then it becomes Asa. Halacha Yudchas. Bayez Shechetzi Mekura, the Chetzi Eini Mekura, half of it has a roof, and the other half doesn't have a roof. Ukfanim Netuiz B'Tzadzeh, and there are vines under the roof, and and, and on the other side there's this Rhyme. Is muta luzre yirakis besad acher. Notice, notice you can have kfanim onto the roof and zroim that are not under the roof. Or fakert. Sharei pi tikra kiilu diorad vesosam benasa binem kimechitz. Even though there's no no actual wall, but there's a din wall. The pi tikra is yered vesesim and it's considered as if there was a wall. However, the mishvis kiruye, if you made the wall, you, you you extended the roof over the entire house. So mainly you don't have any more of Pitikra which created the Sesim. So then it's also because then the Kfanim and the Yurakis are next to each other. So the Kudus of the Din is that even though you have Kfanim and Yurakis next to each other, and you have a Din wall, either a Din wall which we learned before when you had like a Din Pesach, or you have a Din wall which we're learning over here now of Pitikra created the Sesim. So that's considered a wall and therefore there's no Isra of Kalai. Halacha Yutas. Chatzar Ktana, Shenifritza Bimleya Ligdela. So you have a small Chatzar. So when you look from the Chatzar into the Gdela, you see no, there's, there's no Patsim, there's no, there's no Mechitzas at all. It looks like it just extends into the Gdela. When you, from the Gdela, you look into the Ktana, so the Gdela has extensions on both sides. So the entrance into the Chatzar Ktana looks like a Pesach. Because from the Chatzar Ktana into the Chatzar Gdela, it doesn't look like a Pesach. Because it's not a door, it's completely open. Masha'ikim, from the Chatzar Gdela, looking into the Chatzar Gdela, it looks like a Pesach. Now, v'hoyu k'fanim b'gdela, in the large Chatzar that was k'fanim, is also l'zreya b'gdana. So you're not allowed to plant in the k'tana, because planting in the k'tana, from the perspective of the k'tana, he, he, he's together with the g'dela. He's together with the g'dela, so he's together with the k'fanim. So there's no... From his perspective, there's no wall in between him and the and the and the kfan. And the imzara and the if he planted in the ktana, is azroy maksur asurim. The zroy are asur because there's no wall that separates them. But on the other end, the kfan mutar, because from the perspective of the gedoyla, there's a wall. So it comes out that we have a wall, a din wall, another a din wall, and it's really it's open. There's an open space. But the question is. If it's a din pesach, or it's just a, a pesach in, in in a wall, or it's not a din pesach, there's no pesach. So from the ktana looking at the gdela, there's no pesach. From the gdela looking at the ktana, it's a pesach. It's not an opening. It's a pesach. So the mela, so the ktana, since by him it's not a pesach. So as far as he's concerned, it's us. Awesome. So the zroim were planted with the kvanim, mashenke, and from the gdela's perspective, from the kvanim's perspective. So the, the, the Israelim are, are in a different entity. There's a wall in between. And therefore, the Kfarim are Mutar. Now, this is talking about that the Kfarim were Big Dela and the, and the Israelim were in the Ktana. Fakert. How you are Kfarim Big Tana? If there was Kfarim Big Tana, is Mutar Lizrea Big Dela. So when you're going and planting in the Gdela, so as far as you're concerned, since you're plant, planting in the Gdela, so you're planting in a place which is separated from the Kfarim. So therefore, mutal is rea big tana. Hail v'yesh big day le pasin mikano mikan. So therefore, rei kim of delus mnak tana. So when you're planting in the gdeila, as far as you're concerned, you're in a separate area from the ktana. You're not planting where the kfanim are. You're planting in a place which is there's a wall in between you and the kfan. Bein aktana muftelus mnak deila. So the pale. So then it's mutter. Now the pale. What about the what about the kfanim? The chura the kfanim should be also from. Because from the Kfanim's perspective, he's together with the with the Gdela. With the, no, from the Ketana's perspective, he's together with the Gdela. So the Chori is together with the Zeroim. The Zeroim are talking not together with the Kfanim, but the Kfanim are together with the Zeroim. So they bring over here from a Tesvis, the Ramar brings a Tesvis in Erevin, that the Isra is Lisisra Karma Chakalai. In other the Isra is to be Zereya in the Karam. So if you're being Zereya in the Karam, that's a problem. The Isra is not making the Karam in the Zara. So in Mela, when you Zira, in the case before, when you're planting in the Ketana, the Zroim, and the, and the Gdela, this Kfanim, so the problem is that the 
the zroin you're planting in the geffen. From the perspective of the zroin, you're planting in the carob. That's a problem. But over here, since from the perspective of the zroin, you're not planting it in the, in, with the geffen, because from the perspective of the gedela, there's a wall in between him and the ketana. So Mela, the fact that from the perspective of the gedela, of the ketana rather, which the kfanim are in, he's together with the ketana, that is a problem. That's not a problem. Because the issue is not for the kfanim to be with the zroin, fakert. The issue is for the zroin to be with the kfanim. Mela, since over here, the zroin are now with the kfanim, so there's no problem for the kfanim as well. That's the khur pashtus hadvar. Allah chachof. Chritz show ever be karen. You have a chritz which is passing through a karen. Amu kasara v'rochem arba imhoyim a foolish meresh a karen by the seifin. So you have a, a, a place that's going through a karen, which is ten tefachim deep and four tefachim wide. Is a reizer nira kibein shtei akram. It's considered something which is a separate entity, not part of the karen. Because in the karen you're not a plant, as we learned before. But over here, since it's Omek HaSar, Merach Barba, it's not considered part of the Kramun, and therefore, a Mutra L'Zerea B'Techem. A Be'Uvvat Shul, Ha'iyu HaKfanim, Mesach Shem L'Olav Kamei Shem The vine shouldn't be hovering over this, this, this area, because then it's going to come out that the Kfanim are on top of the, the Zera, even though they're not touching each other, but that also Asus. However, V'Mlei Hoyim Mefulish, if it doesn't go through and through the Kerem, so we have an area in the Kerem, which is Rochav Arba and Omokasara, is Areu Kigas Shub Emsakerem. So it has a din like a gas, which is like a place where you press the grapes inside the Kerem. Chaval Pishi Amukasara or Rochav Arba, a yeser, also le Mizre Betecho, El Lin Kain Hoye, the Karaka Sheshes Liam. So again, that would have the din of the Karaka Sakerem, which Karaka Sakerem, the din is that it has to have 16 Amas in order that there should be the Dalad Amas on each side for Avedis HaKerem, and then there should be another Dalad Amas for each side that should have a din of a separate Sada. So the same thing would apply over here, unless it had that amount of space that would be 16 Amas, only then would it be Mutter. But if it's less than that, it would be also. Allah HaKafal. Shvil Shebein Shli Akram. You have two Kramim, and you have a road, a little path going in between the two Kramim. Is Areo Kikerem Shecharev Memtsoy. In Yesh be named Shesha Sriyama. If this Shvil is 16 Amas wide, is Marchik Mizar Bamas, Mizar Bamas, is Reya Samesa. Bim Hoye Pach is Mikan. So again, Le Yavi Zarelisham. So again, this is the same din. That in other words, this area, since it's in between two Kramen, so it's considered like it's in the middle of a Kerem. So in order to be able to plant there, it has to be a big enough area that it should be considered a separate entity and it shouldn't be bottled to the Kerem. And that is if there's 16 Amas, the Cheshmer of 16 Amas again, four Amas for each side for Avedis HaKerem, and then another four Amas for each side that it should have a din of a separate soul. Halacha Chav Beis. Shemera Shebe Kerem. Shemera means a mound. You have a mound in the Kerem where maybe the person that would watch the Kerem would stand on top of the Shemera. There's a mound of earth on top in the Kerem. Is in Goveya Sar or Chavarba, if it's ten Tfachim tall and four Tfachim wide, is Mutal is Rebre Shayarak. So it's considered a separate entity, even though it's in the Kerem. But that, since it's Goveya Sar, it's like a Mechitza. Mamela, since it's a Mechitza, you're allowed to plant on top of it Yarak. Bulvat, Shaliyah, Srigam, Negamba. So, I mean, the vines shouldn't be touching the top of the Shimera because then it comes out again. That is saying of, of Kilayim, because the vines are on top of the of the Yerek. Kadeshul Yiro, Yerek, but Techa Keramal Mail. It shouldn't look like there's Yerek in the Karam if the vines are going over this Shemera. Now Bamedvar Mamurim that we're saying that you're allowed to plant on top of the Shemera if it's Kveya Sor or Khavar Bo, that's talking about Bimurubas. If the Shemera was square. If the Shemera was round, it wasn't square. And also, Now this din is not so clear what this din is. Some people learn that the Pshat is that 
In other words, the Shemeira is a gula, and there's no four tvachim. In other words, there's no, you can't square off four tvachim by four tvachim on top of the Shemeira. The top of the Shemeira, in other words, the, the round Shemeira hat is four by four, but it's not a four by four of square. You can't, you can't make a square in the Shemeira of four by four. You only have a circle of four by four in the Shemeira. So therefore, it doesn't have this din of being separated. This mechitza is not considered a proper mechitza. No, if you have a four by four and you have mechitza around it, so then that area is considered separated because the walls that go up to the shemera is considered a mechitza because the, because the top of the shemera is four by four. Mashainkin, if the shemera is agula, the Ram doesn't really say that it's agula and it's four by four in the agula. The Ram doesn't make that clear. But I'll call upon, that's how some people learn. If it was a gula, so then you have to have a hollow space under the shemera, so it should be separated from the from from the karim. So in that hollow space has to be also four tefachim in the height, which is a chiddush. And they shim of legis with aretz. But also tzricha offer al reisha no ma'ila shleish tefachim should have considered separate. Should be again, you need extra. You, you need that there should be also another three tefachim of earth on top of the shemera for it to be considered separated from the Karim. It needs, I mean, I see the, the Rambam Ma'aruch is like arguing with the Derech Hamunah, with Rabbi Chaim Kanyevsky, in Pshat, because he's learning, the Derech Hamunah is learning Pshat, that the Chol Larba Tvachim is talking about in the width, and he's telling that the Chol Larba Tvachim is in the height. I'll call upon, I, I don't really know, Pshat, in this day. We know clearly, if they have a Shemera, which is, so then it's Beseder. Then it says, if it's, that's if it's a Merubas. And if it's a Gula, so he says it has to be Betecha Chol Arbot Vachim, Kedei Shetia Mufleges Menaretz, and also Tzricha Ofer Al Reishim Al Maile Shleishim Vachim. Halacha Chav Gimu. Habayis Shebe Kerem. In a Kerem, you have a Bayis. Im Hoise Yesim Shleishim Vachim Al Shleishim Vachim. Adar Boa. So in other words, if this house had an area, which was, now the word Adar Bo, they take out. In other words, if there was three Tvachim by three Tvachim, so it was considered, the Mechitzes are considered proper Mechitzes. So then, Zeirin Betecha Yerek. Because, in other words, if you have Mechitzes, which inside the Mechitzes is less than three Tvachim, so that's not called Mechitzes. So Mele is considered like it's in the Kerem. So over here, if Im Hoya Yesim Shleishim Tvachim or Shleishim Tvachim, it says over here, Adar Bo, but they take it out. The Derech takes it out. Is Zerin Betecha Yerek. Im Hoya Pachis Mishlesha Al Shlesha is therefore Hareu Kusosim. It's not really considered a proper Mechut Mechitza. And therefore, Vein Zerin Betecha. Because it's considered like you're doing in the middle of the Yerek. In other words, when you have a Mechitza between the Yerek and the place where you're planting the Zeroim, that's fine. But since this Mechitza is, is surrounding an area which is less than three Tvachim, by three tvachim, it doesn't really have a din of a mechitza. Since it doesn't have a din of a mechitza, so mele, it's as if you're planting it within the, within the karen. Halach ha'chav dalot. Gefen yechidis. Shehoysa netua betech ha'neka betech ha'chritz. You have a, a, a vine, which is in a, an indentation or a crack in the ground. Is marchike mimenu shisha tvachim l'chol ruach. Even though it's in the Charitz, where over there the Geffen is, but nevertheless, you, as long as you're marking six Tvachim, which is the Archaka from the Geffen Yechidus, that's fine. The same thing that you would do if it would be on, on, on flat ground, the same thing it would be in, in a place which is an indentation. That's when we talk about if it's an indentation, which is not ten Tvachim deep. However, if you're Notice if if <coughs> it was like a, a, a an area which is ten tefachim deep, and it was also the top of the area was four tefachim by four tefachim. It's hard to understand why dafke the top of the area. Because it sounds like as if even though the bottom of it is going down narrower, but as long as the top is four tefachim wide, is aser lizreya beteche afil afal shisha, because it's considered one area. In other words, if you have a flat piece of land and you have a geffen, and then you move away six tvachim, so since you moved away six tvachim, it has nothing to do with the geffen. If you have an area which is ten tvachim deep, 
and it's four tvachim by four tvachim wide. And here it says it's wide on the top, four tvachim by four tvachim. So Mela, whatever is planted inside this area is considered planted together. So even though it's six tvachim away, but nevertheless it's considered one area and therefore it's us. The chen, gefen yechidus, shahoysu mukef is gather, which is gavei asara barachim arba, is also leyizra b'cholam mechitza. You shouldn't plant in this area. Lavo pishir chitshisha. However, the mir chitshisha v'zara, lepeil, if you were marchik, is like Yiddish. Because lepeil, as long as it was distance, six tvachim, so lepeil, it wasn't Kiddush. But lechatchila, you shouldn't plant there because it looks like you're planting it together. How far could it be? And then you would be a lechatchila allowed to plant in such an area. Vekama yachid lechatchila v'yizra arba amis lecholroa. Achar kach yizra shara charitz. So in other words, if you have an area, let's say, that's surrounded by a fence, and in that area there is a gefen yechidi. So if you distance yourself from the gefen yechidi, four amas, so then lechatchila you'll have to plant. But if you don't distance yourself four amas, so you shouldn't plant. But as long as you distance yourself from with your planting six tvachim, so be the evidence. If you planted it, it doesn't become...